Uh, and it is a good thing that our good friend Jerry Holub is here because he is going to talk not necessarily directly spring, uh, but some air purification plants in International Space Station. How about that? Yes, how's that sound? Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Let's start down. here in the middle. This first one here is called a pea soily. Okay. This is probably one of the best ones. It'll bloom too, and it gra it's great for removing any toxins you've got in the air, or it's great. Right next to like it smell? here, no, I'm kidding. yes, is called an <laughs> aloe plant. Yeah. A lot of people are familiar with that. Then we have an airplane plant. This is like a trailing plant. And then we have the pothos, which is very good too. This is one I mentioned last week. It's almost impossible to kill. If you just water it a couple times a month with room temperature water, mm -hmm. a little bit of water, you can keep it living for many years. Indirect sunlight? Yeah, indirect sunlight. Okay. All these are best with indirect sunlight. You could put some more sun with this, but indirect is the best. Now to keep those looking nice, yep. we've got something called the plant food spikes here. Okay. And the nice thing about these are, you really can't overfeed. All you do is put two or three in a pot, depending on how big the pot is, mm -hmm. and they'll last for two months, and it feeds it for you. Interesting. And then to check your water, I show Moisture this almost test. every week. Yep. This is great here. Most people kill plants indoors because they water them too much. Okay. That's the most common. This moisture meter here, when it shows one, you water. If it's two or three or four, just leave it go. I, I have done that before. I have killed a plant by over water. Yeah, over water. And I think it's the thing. opposite. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. And warm temperature water is the best in the wintertime inside. Sure. That's and that's the, the whole same thing with watering in the summer. I'm getting ahead of myself right. by yeah. saying watering in the morning. But yeah. Now, the things you want to do inside, I brought yeah. some more seeds here just to show you. Um, you can plant these seeds now and you can get them ready. So when it does get nice, when you have a good forecast, hopefully in May, <laughs> you, know, you can put them outdoors and start <laughs> enjoying them. Now, with those, I'll try to I've that. got this little cedar here that works. It's only five dollars. Okay. It's a little cedar you can use here, and just sprinkle the seeds on top of your soil. Just and it works great that way. Interesting there too. Yep. Now up in Ames, we've got uh, thousands of plants that we're planting daily up there. So yep. we, our greenhouses are about half full now. So we're getting closer to spring that way too. So we're getting close anyway. But we're getting like close. Said, we even actually planted some tomato plants yesterday in pots, getting them ready. Wow. Now those will be about two to three foot tall sure. around Mother's Day. We'll have them that big for you, ready to go. Perfect for mom. Yeah, I know yeah. it to have the first tomato on your block. See. Yeah. No, okay. We we'll get a little time here. I want okay. to hear this International Space Station story. Yes. With those, uh, they developed this years ago. Okay. So you could put them up in space wherever we happen to go. It produces oxygen and it cleans toxins that might happen to be inside. Now this was done many years ago, quite back in the 70s and 80s. Sure. Our government taxpayer money was used to do it, which was great for us in our industry because yeah. we sold lots of house plants and we still sell lots of house plants. It's all about purifying the air. It's yeah, purifying the air. Right. CO2 and right. turning into O2. Yes, exactly. Not O3, that's ozone. Yes, right. I'm yeah. Chemistry yeah, now it. come see us. Uh, you take 13th Street. Okay. There's two exits in Ames, of course. 30th yeah. and take uh, 13th Street, turn right or east when you're going northbound. And where the pavement ends is where Whole Up Greenhouse is. And we're open seven days a week. So come see us up there. And okay. come watch us plant some stuff too. All right. You come so there and watch it. Sounds it. like a plan to yeah. me. Uh, it's nice and warm in there. Sunny days, it's always 80 plus with no heat on. So it's, it's like sunny. today, but oh, it's it, it'll, it'll be 80 degrees inside. I know where I'm going after this. Yeah, the there you go.